YouTube, it's Matchy here. I realize it's been a long time I've been away from making any tutorial videos in quite a long time, but I um, kind of went back and looked at my YouTube channel and realized that I was getting quite a bit of views on, on my tutorials and some additional questions, and so I thought I'd maybe try and jump back into doing this. So for my first one, I noticed I had a question on my very first Illustrator lettering video about how to make that balloon shape. Um, so I thought I'd just show that to you really quick and um, especially because I said that in that video I said I mentioned a link to a resource for that balloon shape instead of actually showing you how to make the balloon shape to save time and I've since moved my website and I will since I will probably move my website again so um, instead of making that available as a download I'm just going to show you how to make that shape really quickly um, and that way you can customize it yourself too as much as you'd like so um, it's really simple um, the shape that that was in question is is kind of like an oval shape um, but more squared um, the so it's really it's really simple all I do is I take the ellipse tool and I draw out an ellipse um, and then I just get my direct select tool here which is the white arrow and I just pull out these handles you click on the point then you pull out the handle I'll show you this a couple times here so I pull out these top handles and it just sort of so here I'll show you real quick so I have the shape selected then I click with the direct select tool on the anchor that I want to expand the handles of and then I pull those handles out I mean that's don't get any simpler than that and boom there's the shape really and if you want you can you can make an adjustment here too and the advantage of this shape is um, it gives you a really organic looking uh, word balloon shape but um, is actually kind of nice and square so you can fit text into it a little more nicely than you would a regular oval which um, it's just not very convenient for the text because here you can have longer text up top so it just tapers too quickly in a, re in a regular um, ellipse shape so this is how you achieve that shape and then of course um, I usually I usually either have one of these on hand or I just make one at the beginning of my day and um, I just copy paste copy paste copy paste and just uh, you know and just you know resize it as needed so here I would copy paste it and then I can I can just change it that way or I'm just holding down alt to uh, duplicate it so it's a it's a really versatile shape um, and then of course to turn it into a word balloon you can just take the pen tool and this this I cover in, a, in another tutorial and I'm just showing you really quickly here just take the pen tool and I hold down alt to make a sharp point there and you just draw the the tail on the balloon and then you can select the whole thing come over to your pathfinder this is the pathfinder palette I have it on the side here you can also go into your window and find it there pathfinder um, and then I just use this selection here which is the unite um, and it becomes one piece and in older versions you'll see in my older video you have to before it totally becomes one shape you have to click the expand button here but uh, now that just happens automatically so it's been four years so I guess they figured figured that out um, although I guess there were, could be reasons why you wouldn't want to do that but I never run into that so anyhow so that is just a quick video to show you how to make that shape um, if you have any further questions on this be sure to ask me I will put links to that original video in the description and um, that's it thank you for watching I'm gonna come out with some more quick tutorial videos um, yes yeah, thank you